Okay, we are back with more Zero Escape, um, and we are in the warehouse. Um, we just voted ally to ally with Clover. <clears throat> uh, so what we have done so far to kind of recap, um, let me actually go here to the flow. So, so the first few episodes we wound up taking the blue door, the cyan door route. We um, betrayed. Uh, sorry, let me just click here. So we played the AB game and we betrayed Alice and we went into the colored doors, <clears throat> chromatic doors, excuse me. And we did both the red and the green doors. <clears throat> we got a bad ending here. We got an ending that we could not complete on the red door as well. And when we went down the green door, which is our most um, current venture, well, actually, let me step back. Ab after the green door, we went over here to the blue door, which was the garden. It was at the garden that we found out that there is a <clears throat> pod room that can help heal people, and it'll freeze them and temporary temporarily stop the symptoms of Radical 9, which both Quark and Alice have. Then we jumped over back to this main timeline here, where we went through the green door into the archives with Luna and Clover. It was from here that we remembered seeing Alice kill herself due to the Radical 9, and we knew where to find her, and we were able to save her before she killed herself. Then we went here, <clears throat> and we chose to either ally or betray against Clover. And so now we allied with Clover, which is this left path. And if we were to betray, it's this much shorter path. So we're going to try to do the ally path, the good path now, and see if we can finally get our first true ending. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others filing out of the rooms as we did. So you chose ally after all. We did. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, the AB game was the last thing on my mind. As chaotic as my thoughts were, they were all centered on one thing. Mysterious white liquid. Oh yeah, and we uh, wound up cutting our palm when we went to save Alice. And uh, instead of blood, there was white fluid coming from our palm. Uh-oh. My dogs are barking. I just started an episode that might be my Chinese food, which I was hoping would take an hour or more to uh, to get here. So, <laughs> I might have to leave and come back. Um, the mysterious so you white liquid. see the results? Yes, sure. You probably can't hear my dogs barking, but I can hear my dogs barking. So, and my phone's not ringing, and they're supposed to call me when and if they get here. So, I don't know. Oh, and there is the phone call. I will be back in a few to get my Chinese food, consume, and we will continue. <laughs> oh my god. So I went to go get my food and found out my dog had escaped the house. So I ran around and I caught him. He's fine. Dragged him back inside by his butt <laughs> and ate. Then I got distracted. Um with Stray Kids Case 143, and now I have the urge to crochet little heart creatures that are very cute from the music video. So, probably when I'm done recording, I'm going to look for my yarn and see if I can crochet that shit. Let me find a blank piece of paper in my notebook for the upcoming escape room that we might have. But right now, we're just coming out of the AB rooms, and... We voted ally to Clover, so we're going to go take a look at the projection screen. Glanced around to make sure no one was watching and opened my hand. The liquid didn't seem to have clotted or run out since it was still oozing thickly out of the slit in my hand. What in the hell is this? It couldn't be blood, could it? No, that was impossible. No matter, no matter how many white blood cells clumped together, you never get anything that looked like that. I had never seen my blood do this before. In 22 years of life, I'd seen my body bleed many times. Scraped knees as a kid, 
accidental nicks with a knife as an adult, but every single time I bled red like any other human being. So why was it that this time it was white? What in the he what the hell is happening to me? Hey, Sigma, what are you doing? Hey, Sorry. Just Get the hell over here. At the crusty white blood on my hand. You're going to show the results. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. On my way. I did my best to compose myself and headed over to join the others. Hope Luna doesn't say anything. Not that I think she would realize what it was. Results from round two of the Abidex game will now be displayed. Okay. Please direct your attention to the results screen. So everyone should have allied. Yes. So K and Quark. Ally, ally, good. Ten Myoji and Alice, ally, ally. Ally. Whew. Very good. Everyone allied. That is like the best possible option that could have Points happened. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Okay. At least no one's like on the verge of, of being killed off for it's the next incredible. one. You know? Look, everyone voted ally. You did just like you promised, Kay. What's wrong with her chin? How could I choose Betray after what Fi well said to me? Ten Miyoji and Dio voted ally too. Of course. And she has her hands if up. And Alice would have died. Yeah, well, that's about it, I guess. Mm. We should thank the both of you as well. I'm happy to see you also chose ally. Oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. That was all Sigma. Then thank you very much, Sigma. Sigma? Sigma, are you alright? Come on, what's wrong? Just say something. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, um, looks like we all allied. That's great. Sigma, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, you've been acting a little out of it ever since we came out of the AB rooms. What happened? You make it past at Luna and get shot down? <laughs> no, uh, nothing like that. Hey man, it was a joke. You remember what that is? A joke? You're in pretty bad shape, huh? Before Dio could continue, the heavy metal rumble of doors shutting echoed through the warehouse. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. We can open the gates as many times as we want to? Then, that means... We can play the AB game as many times as we like, right? Interesting. Hey, Zero Jr. said something about this, didn't he? Yeah, so what are we right. now? Sorry to be a pain, but uh, could you all show me your bracelets? I want to see what all your colors and assignments are. Ten Miyoji, it looks like you ate a ditto. And he's controlling you. <laughs> Everyone nodded and held their arms out towards him. I stared at them, terrified to follow suit, but certain that refusing would only draw more suspicion. So I held my arm out, hand tightened into a white knuckled fist to hide the cut. When their eyes landed on my hand, my heart skipped a beat. So Dio and Kay are a yellow pair. Luna and I are both pairs, but our colors are different. Right. You're a cyan, and I'm magenta. That makes Sigma the only solo, huh? A red solo. So what are the four we left in the infirmary? Luna and I are pairs, so two of them are our partners. That means the other two are solos. Although, mm. I guess we don't know what colors they are. No. They're probably green and blue. Why's that? Didn't you see them? There are a bunch of white doors in the Floor B warehouse. They have to be the next set of chromatic doors. Ah, yes. Fi and I saw them as well. 
on our way back from the garden with the unconscious Quark. And there they were. Hmm. I don't know why they put you through all of this. Each one had a box just like the doors on floor A. Given unless that, it's... I don't see how there can be any question. Unless the game's just like loading or something. Those white doors are our next set of chromatic doors. I think that our bracelet combinations will have to add up to white in order to open the secondary doors. The pairs are cyan, magenta, and yellow. You see? Yeah. If we need to make white, then the other three colors would have to be red, green, and blue. I'm confused by that, but I guess we'll we'll see later. Good. Now that we've got that figured out, I'm heading back to the infirmary for a bit. I want to check up on Quark and Alice. Yeah, we should probably see how much time we have before we need to go through the white doors. I shall accompany you then. Might as well go with you, I guess. No real reason to hang out here. Well, what will you two do? I... I need to talk to Sigma about something. <laughs> about what? Something. Okay. Her usual pleasant expression had been replaced with something much more sullen. She must have noticed that there was something wrong with me. That was what she wanted to talk about. I was sure of it. I mean, she's also a nurse, so she could probably look you over. Okay, fine. I managed to make my voice sound almost relaxed. Whoa, hold on. A private talk? What are you guys plotting? We're not plotting anything. I promise. It's nothing. I love Luna. She's so cute. <laughs> and motherly. Fine, whatever. See if I care. Dio tossed his head with a mixture of arrogance and feigned disinterest and marched out the yellow door. Tenmyoji and Kei quickly followed. In only moments, all three had disappeared. Hmm. So, uh, what was it that you wanted to talk about? I was almost certain I knew, but there was always hope. I did my best to act if I was genuinely confused. Oh, um, I don't really like this room. Could we go somewhere else? Um, okay. Good. I found somewhere nice when I was looking for Alice earlier. As strange as her request was, I had no reason to object. Kept my mouth shut, Follow Luna as she headed off. I'm guessing the garden? Because she seemed to like it. Yeah. When we were here. The you garden. You know this place? Yes, well, sort of. I came here once when I was looking for Alice. Oh, I see. So, uh, what brings you here? Isn't this nice? This is the only place in the whole facility with anything green. I feel kind of silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. A serious Being conversation? Being by nature makes me feel... happy. Hmm. Oh, there's a bench over there. Would you like to sit down with me? Sure. Not sure how serious we're gonna get, but... She sat down softly and gently, and I lowered myself down next to her. She's so cute. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Instead of answering, Luna lifted the tiny birdcage pendant she wore in the palm into the palm of her hand. She was silent for a moment, and then began to talk. Can I tell you something? This is actually a music box. We learned that, yeah, from the secret files. Yes. She twisted the key on the bottom, and it made an almost imperceptible winding noise. Crank, crank, grind, grind. When she released it, soft, clear notes drifted out. It's a nice song. Why'd you bring up that up, though? Because I... wanted you to know, I guess. I wanted you to know more about me. Hmm? Maybe it's because I'm so shy, but I don't really have any friends. Or even any acquaintances, really. Okay. So I've sort of always been alone. It was really hard. Is her face a different skin tone than her neck? Hmm. I felt so lonely a lot of the time. And it... It 
hurt. It felt like I was just kind of going to collapse from the inside out. I know that feeling. Shit. That's deep. That was when I got this music box. Someone very important gave it to me. They didn't say anything, but I felt like there was an unspoken message behind it. Luna, happiness is closer than you think. Hmm. <clears throat> Do you know Major Link's The Bluebird? No. Well, apparently Sigma does. Well, uh, I know the gist of it. I think it starts on Christmas Eve. His brother and sister named Tiltil and Mytil get asked to find a bluebird by this old woman, and they travel to the dream world. Or something. Anyway, supposedly, supposedly, if you can catch this bird, then you can make a wish come true. So they visit all these different places, but they can't find it. Eventually, they give up and go home, but when they wake up, the bird is in a birdcage in their That's hut. That's right. It's a well-known story, and it teaches a simple lesson. Yeah, like you said, happiness is closer than you right. think. Right. It got me thinking. Maybe the person who gave me this music box was trying to tell me just that. I don't know if that's true. Maybe all of this is just in my head, but I really felt like that was what they'd meant. It was so... kind. I kept it with me all the time, like a kind of good luck charm. But... One day I realized something. There was another meaning to the bluebird. In Major Link's original story, it doesn't end with them waking up. There's more? Yes. When Tiltil and Mittel try to feed the bird, it leaves the cage and flies away. And then the story ends. Well, what about the moral then? It changes. Now the message is that just when you think you found happiness, you'll lose it again. Mm-hmm. I thought about that for a while, but in the end, it didn't change how I felt. I don't know what they intended it to mean when they gave it to me, but I decided how I was going to look at it. This music is making me sleepy. It means that happiness is something you should always be looking for, and it's only when you're pursuing happiness that you're truly happy. Interesting. But you know, Sigma. Why are we here? I think you might be Tiltil. What? You know, the boy who the old lady asked to find the bluebird on Christmas Eve. Well, what are you trying to say? Can I ask you something? Well, then who's my till? Um, sure. Where did you find Alice? What does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. Where did you find Alice? The crew quarters? Room two in the crew quarters. Where were you before that? I was in the lounge. That was after we'd split up to go look for Alice. The first place I went was the lounge. So you went from the lounge to the crew quarters, where you found Alice. And then you rushed her to the infirmary, right? Yeah. Okay, tell me this then. How do you know about the garden? Just now, you said you'd come here when you were looking Shit. for Alice. Shit, fuck. Didn't you? We gave it away. That doesn't make any sense. There wouldn't have been any time for you to visit the garden while you were looking for Alice. So tell me, Sigma, how do you know about this place? Well, um, I didn't know what to say. I couldn't even explain it to myself. Why had I told her I knew it about the garden? Why had I told her I'd been here before? Sigma, are you... are you a robot? Have you always been here? Are we the cyborg? <laughs> Uh, what? See, it would make so much sense if you were. That would explain why you knew about the garden, and, and it would explain that cut on your left hand. Um, how? Would that explain the cut on my hand? Damn, so you did see it, huh? Yes. I've been told that robots these days have what's called artificial biological tissue, or ABT, on top of a metal skeleton. Okay. It makes them look almost exactly like a human. Okay. And ABT uses this white liquid instead of blood. So we are a cyborg. 
For some reason, when Luna had called me a robot, it hadn't really phased me. Maybe because it was just so... out there. It didn't sound like a real possibility. It sounded more like a theory you'd get from someone in a nut house. Still, my hand was still oozing white liquid. Was I really a robot? No, that was impossible. I needed to stop doing that. Questioning myself so much was giving me heart palpitations. Luna, aren't you a little scared? Scared? Why would I be scared? Well, let's say I am a robot. That means there's a pretty good chance Zero's pulling my strings. That would make me your enemy. Oh, I guess so. Well, even if you were, I wouldn't be scared. Why not? Hmm. Maybe because you're a robot. Because of the the rules of robotics, I guess? Have you that ever we've heard read of about? the three laws of robotics? There we go. They were a set of rules created by the science fiction author Isaac Asimov that he used in several of his stories. Yeah, we read about that from the secret file. Rule one. A robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to become to harm. Rule two. A robot must obey any orders given to it by a human by human beings except when such orders would conflict with the first law. Rule three. The robot must protect its own existence as long as, uh, as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Oh, yeah, I've heard those before. That's just an ideal, though. Could work toward that, but I don't think you could ever actually achieve it. I mean, depending on how you program them, robots could do pretty much whatever they wanted yes, to. Yes, you're right. But I believe in them. In you. However you're programmed, I don't think you'd break any of the three laws. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. That's not you. You have a heart. You're a good person. It's in your eyes. Well, I guess I'm just kind of assuming you're a robot. There's still a chance you're not. We should run some tests. Yes. Tests? Well, um, the how? Well, should be able to tell us. Oh, yeah. The thing from the infirmary. I heard the crunch of dried leaves behind us. When I turned, there was nothing. Who is, is it? Is someone there? Just me. Fuck, fine. Sorry, but can you guys come over here? I need you to see something. Oh, is it the bomb? Because we haven't we haven't seen the bombs in the last few sh uh, videos. Luna and I looked at one another, shrugged, and stepped into the bushes. That's number three, right? Welcome. What? How long have you been here? I just got here a little while ago. Did you hear what we were saying? No. Were you talking about something you didn't want me to know about? Whatever. Just have a look at this. I followed the line of her finger. Oh, it's number one. Three was in the crew quarters. Shit. This... this is... Antimatter bomb. Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Oh, so we already knew about the bomb. Okay. Look at the number on the side. It says one. And the one in the crew quarters said three, right? Mm -hmm. Then that must mean... Shit. Then there's no question, huh? I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. You're saying there's a two bomb out there somewhere? Well, yes. I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Damn it. That means we're dealing with a combined explosive power equal to three tons of TNT. Yeah. Who planted them? Was it you guys? I mean, you've been in here quite a while. Hey, don't give me that. You're way more suspicious than we are. What were you doing in the bushes well, anyways? Uh, I was... taking a walk. Taking a walk? You really think I'm gonna buy that? Fine. You got me. I heard you two were off talking in secret. So I got curious and went back to the Floor A warehouse. Of course you weren't there. That seemed pretty suspicious to me, so I headed here. And just as I'd suspected, there you were, talking on the bench. I snuck up from behind so you wouldn't notice me. Then, just as I was getting close enough to hear, I found the bomb. So, believe me now? So, who planted the bomb? Honestly, it could have been any one of us. Anybody could have come here while we were all looking for Alice. We need to tell everyone about this, then. 
Yeah, you're right. Let's head back to the infirmary. Are we going to use the atom machine? Hmm. Did they move Quark and Alice? Everyone else was already there when we arrived. I guess not. Clover and Tenmyoji. K and Dio. And of course, Alice and Quark. Both seem to be sleeping peacefully. You'd never think to look at them that they'd been completely insane not so long ago. <laughs> All right, everybody listen up. I told them how we'd found the number one bomb in the garden. And how judging by the numbering on the two bombs we'd found so far, there was probably a number two bomb out there somewhere, too. Oh, this is bad. What are we going to do? Well, I think Alice mentioned something. There should be an emergency deactivation password. She did, that's right. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. Okay. You see it right here. There's a port. Right here, okay. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. So if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without oh, we also that, need a password. we're still boned even if we did have the password. True. Yeah. Suppose. That's why I want all of you to let me search you. I beg your pardon? <laughs> you heard me. Chances are whoever planted those bombs is in this room. There's also a good chance they've also got the device we need to deactivate the bombs. Mm. So you're planning to search very us for Very true, very true. Exactly. But... No buts. If you refuse... Then I'll assume it's because you've got it and you planted the bombs. Unless you want that, I suggest you cooperate. Clear? Clear. Crystal. Good. Now who's going to be first? Hmm? Huh? Wait. You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. I know who did it. The words were out of my mouth before I'd even realized what I was saying them. How can you... There's no way. Yeah. I met Fai's gaze and nodded, then turned away. I know who set the bombs. That person. Whoa, what the hell am I seeing here? That person. You did it. The room was suddenly silent. Dio? I'm guessing? To be continued. Ugh. That kind of sucks. Sure. Let's save. Okay, so we got this far. Hmm. So what is this now? How do we stop Phi? Yeah, we don't know how to stop Phi yet. So, because we can't go any further, probably because we have to play out these, I'm going to pick the Betray route. Yes. I'm going to try to... I am going to Betray um, Clover. I believe it's Clover. So I'm going to do... Oh, can't see that yet. Two minutes. What are you going to do? We're gonna skip all that dialogue. And we are going to betray. Because this should be nice, short, and sweet. And take up the rest of this episode. And hopefully we'll get another bad ending. And get it out of the way, you know? Excuse me. Luna and I stepped out of AB room. I could see the others filing out of the rooms as we did. Why? I didn't have an answer for her. Why? All I could think about was the white liquid. What was it? Some kind of... Ugh. The word discharge makes me uneasy. Blood? No. Couldn't be blood. Blood wasn't white. That was insane. I was lost in thought when Luna spoke. Um, I'm going to the infirmary. Huh? Don't you want to see the results? Why? I already know what they're going to be. Her usually warm personality seemed to have gone cold. 
Whether it was because I chose betray or because she noticed that something was wrong with my body, I couldn't say. Excuse me? Oh, because we picked Ally, it made us more likely to be a good and decent robot in comparison to whatever we are now in her mind. And with that, she was gone. Teo's gonna call us over. I turned back to the projection. With heavy steps. Oh my god. With heavy steps, I headed toward D K, Dio, and Tamiozi. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Okay, ally, 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 ally. <gasps> so I have nine now. Shh, I didn't even think of that. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet <laughs> to see your. No, I really do look like the bad guy. Points. Oh, I look like the bad guy. I am a yellow pair of nine. What the hell? Sigma has nine BP. See, I told you. Dio, shut the fuck up. Bastard's finally showing his true colors. What the hell are you doing? Clover isn't even voting. I have misjudged you. I never thought you would do something so cowardly. <sighs> Normally I would not, but I wanted to see what would happen. There was nothing I can say. I had chosen Betray of my own volition. But had I really? Had I really pressed that button of my own free will? The more I thought about it, the more I felt as if some other force had guided my hand to the button. Perhaps it had been fear? I was scared by the white fluid that appeared on my palm. Maybe that had been the tipping point. And I had decided that I had to escape as soon as possible. Damn the consequences. If I got out, then the nightmare would be over. That's all it was, right? A nightmare. I, it couldn't be real. White blood was insane. Impossible. That was when I looked up and saw the other staring at my hand. Shit. I quickly put my hand behind my back, but it was already too late. They moved toward me like wolves closing in for the kill. S Sigma? What was that? He was cut. It must have been blood. But why was it white? Isn't that obvious? He's not human. Not human? No. What are you saying? Of course I'm human. I'm 100% human. Then explain that white stuff. I swear to God, I have no idea what it is. You have to believe me. I'm afraid me. you're not being very convincing. Oh, you're the one to talk. We can't even see you. You could be a robot. Maybe that's not even a suit. Maybe that's just you, robot you. No, that seems extremely unlikely. However bad my amnesia might be, I am quite sure of my humanity. As if I'm I not? I am, without a doubt, not a robot. They probably just programmed you to think that. Alright, it's pretty obvious this guy's dangerous and probably unhinged. I'm unhinged? You probably set the bombs. We should take him down. So there we go. I agree. <sighs> Looks like there's no other way. Uh, now that shit. he's got 9 BP from stabbing Clover in the back, there's a good chance he'll try and get out of here by himself. Hey, hold on a minute. Let's not do anything rash. I didn't have a choice. I spun around and ran for the number nine door. Shit. No. I don't think so. I would have ran towards, like, the garden or someplace. I would try to prove that I wasn't trying to leave. Shit. Let go. Let go of me. I was no match for all three of them. Before I could take two steps, I was on the floor. Pinned. The desperation was only getting stronger, however. And I... Oh my god. And I writhed and twisted in a futile attempt to get free. God damn it, you have to let me go. This is all some kind of mistake. A misunderstanding. It's it's a conspiracy. <laughs> so, there's a conspiracy to turn your blood white? You're a funny guy. Stop trying to get away. It's over. Shit. Get off of me. Let me go. If you won't calm down, then you leave me no choice. Is he gonna, like, karate chop the back of my I neck? I hoped we could avoid this. Try not to struggle too much. No, don't... Is he choking me out? <laughs> Bad 
dead end. Dun dun. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh no, we're just in the infirmary. Okay. No worries. The first thing I felt when I woke up was a hard, the hard pain of a bruise all the way across my neck. Kay must have suffocated me. My head felt like it had been stuffed with cotton and I had to put out a hand to steady myself as I stood up. Where am I? Is this the infirmary? Why is the, the gun on the floor? How long had I been out? My foot bumped into something and I looked down to see the injection gun. A glass vial labeled Sorperil was it still attached to it. An anesthetic. After choking me, they made sure I wasn't getting up in the near future. That meant I could have been asleep for a long time. Where is everyone? I glanced around the room. It was empty, except for me. It took me a moment to realize what was especially odd about that. Even Quark and Alice had disappeared. What the hell is going on? That was when I noticed it. Quark and Alice weren't the only things that had disappeared. Two other things, two very important things, were also gone. My bracelet and my left hand. For a long moment, I just stared, dumbstruck. What I was seeing couldn't possibly be real. But there it was, smooth cross-section of my arm where my hand should have been. A thick, white liquid dripped slowly from the stump. What, uh, what is this? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah! <laughs> A scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my mind with it. And after that, nothing. Game over. So are we a robot? Are we not? Are we not? Where's everybody? I'm not understanding. Sure. Still not, haven't gotten an ending yet. Okay. So I don't think we know a way to stop Phi yet. We don't know who planted the bomb yet. There isn't enough antiviral medication. We don't know that yet. So we might have to go back to the beginning and choose a different door. Because the first time we picked the cyan door, and then we also have the other two from that first pick. And we haven't gotten through any of that yet. So I think I'll call this episode here. And next time I will get us um, to where we're picking a door and going down our next path. So the next few episodes should all be new content um, and not repeating anything until we have these three pieces of information. Um, first being, well, hold on, there's this. Where did Alice go? Hmm. Ah, oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. I have to wait until this all kind of goes, but um, I'll try to get us to a room so that we can hopefully find out who planted the bombs, how to stop Phi from leaving through the nine door. Um, the flow chart. Um, so we need to figure out there isn't enough antiviral medication. We need to figure out how we can get more of that. Um, and then we need to figure out how we can stop Phi. Um, which actually, we have five minutes. Let's see if we can solve this now. Really quickly, because this is when Phi betrays us and she gets nine. Um, you chose Ally, right? Are you sure that was okay? Yeah, of course. If I did too. I'm pretty sure of yourself. No, she did not. She asked if we were positive that we would be choosing Ally. So she chose Betray. What? So let's just get some context since we have the time. Um, we know pretty quickly whether or not, whether I knew anything okay, or not. Let's go. 
So this is, yeah, this is where Fi choose, chose Betray, and she escapes through the number nine door. No one can catch Results her. Results from round two um, she of the just game jumps over everyone. But I have a feeling now that Kay has knocked me out. Please direct your Maybe to the results screen. He can knock Fi out too. Ally, ally, yep. Ally, ally. Ally betray. Yep. Because then she's like... I have a feeling she's going to say the same Points shit. Have been assigned. Please check your but we have to see if there's a way that we can stop her from leaving through the number 9 door. Because it's green, I have a feeling we can use it. What the hell, Fi? Why did you choose Betray? You chose Ally before. I see. So you remember it too. The other round two. What? Yeah, this isn't last time. This isn't what happened last time. That wasn't even close to the response I'd expected. It felt anticlimactic. Hey, hold on a minute here. You, you know? You remember how I chose Betray last time in round two? Yeah, of course. Why do you think I chose Betray this time? Don't you remember what I said? That I'd make you pay? Yeah, I do remember that. Then this is you making me pay? Yes. Wait, wait, no, 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 that didn't make any sense. Something wasn't right. How could we both know about an earlier round two? How could there have been an earlier round two? Was it some sort of alternate history? What the hell was I thinking? That was conspiracy theory shit. Even if there was some sort of alternate timeline or universe or whatever, there was no way I could know what had happened in it. No way I could know. At least I didn't think there was any way I could know. But if I could, then how? I remembered Fi choosing ally, then scowling at me when I broke my promise and swearing revenge. That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Why did I know that? Perhaps more importantly, why did Fi remember it? What the hell did any of this mean? It had happened before, hadn't it? During round one of the AB game when I was playing against Alice, I'd seen something. Fi and I had chosen Betray. But for some reason, I'd seen a reality where we'd chosen Ally instead. Suddenly I realized that I wasn't alone. I looked up to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. They all began to speak at once. What happened? Why did you choose Betray, Fi? Yeah. You're the only one who didn't vote ally. Finally, a frown on her face. She's been too happy for this whole thing. Fi looked away and scowled. For several long moments, her eyes started, stared off into the distance, and I could almost see her mind working. Finally, she sighed and spoke. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. So sorry, but I'm out of here. What? Huh? What do you mean? Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving. Through the number nine door. Hey. Wait. I scrambled around in front of her and threw my arms You're out. You're in my way. Move. No, I'm not letting you go. What happened to you? I didn't think you were that kind of person who ditched the rest of us so you could get away. When someone betrays your trust, feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. Betrays your... wait, are you saying... Whatever. Just get out of my way. No, I'm not moving. I see. Then you leave me no choice. As she spoke, Fi bent down. No, this is the same as before. Then shot up into the air and over my head. Spun around and see her standing next to the number nine door, her hand on the lever. You nice try. She grinned and tightened her grip on the lever. Bloody tay. Yeah, she this is what happened before. That's what it, see you later. Wait, stop. I felt myself speaking before I even knew what the words were. Elapsum semel occasionem non ipse potest lupiter reprehendre. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. 
Are you sure this is how you want it to end? <gasps> we can stop it because she told us that. Oh my God, she said that to us in the past. We still don't know the truth about any of it. If you leave now, we never will. Is that really what you want? Fine. Ha ha ha. Very good. If I slowly let go of the lever. Why'd you do that, dumbass? <laughs> Phew, look, I'm sorry. Sorry about betraying you. I'm honestly not sure why Forget I did it. Forget about it. This time you chose ally and I chose betray. I think we're even. Yes. Uh, what are you talking about? When did you betray her? Are you talking about round one? No, we aren't talking about round one. We're... Just drop it. There's no point. I doubt they'd understand even if you did tell them. Clover might, but no. Yeah, you're right. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? I don't get it. Well, at least it seems Fi has decided to remain. You've really changed your mind? Yeah, I'll stick around a little longer. Like he said, I can't leave until we figured out what's going on. Let me just see where we are in this flow chart. So, next time we will hopefully get our first ending with this one. It could be a bad ending. Who knows? But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time to figure out what's going on. Okay? See you later!